look at Gregory Bad News Corbett, 38 years of age, unbeaten, 15 and 0, with nine wins coming via knockout. His opponent, Charles Prince Martin, 25, 2 and 1, St. Louis native, 32 years of age. Martin with a one inch height advantage. Corbin turned pro seven years ago. Martin, six years ago. Corbin weighing in at 273 and a quarter pounds. Martin at 254 and a half. To the ring, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to AT&T Stadium here in Arlington, Texas, as Premier Boxing Champions presents our prelude to our big night of action. It's Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view prelims, and it's all brought to you by Tecate, the official beer of boxing, Limitless Pill, Reinvent Yourself, and Twin Peaks, Eats, Drinks, scenic views introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from brinkside we have don griffin javier martinez and jesse reyes all right fans here we go 10 rounds of boxing scheduled heavyweights in the ring introducing to you first on my right he is fighting out of the red corner wearing gray and blue trunks fighting out of and representing West Dallas, Texas. He tipped the scale at 273 and one quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 15 wins, no losses. Nine wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the undefeated Gregory. Bad news, Corbin. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10 round attraction. He is wearing black trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Los Angeles, California by way of St. Louis, Missouri. He weighed in at 254 and one half pounds with a record of 25 wins, two losses and one draw. He has 23 big wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the hard hitting former heavyweight champion of the world, Introducing Prince Charles Martin. A referee in charge now to give instructions, Mark Calloway. Let's go red corner, one chief second. Let's go blue corner, one chief second. Okay, gentlemen, I've already gone over the rules in the dress room. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Most importantly, protect yourself at all times. Punches here and up are good. Punches here and up are good. Good luck to you, men. Touch gloves, go to your corner. A look at the unified rules. No three knockdown rules. rules. No standing eight count. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell. Only the referee can stop the fight. No decision. Gregory, you ready? If an accidental foul stops the fight before four rounds. Gregory Corbin, who said yesterday, I'm the star. The lights and the stage are not even big enough for me here at AT&T Stadium. Taking on the former IBF Heavyweight champion, he held the title for just under three months back in 2016, Prince Charles Martin. Corbin's coming out really relaxed. He feels very confident, you know, he wants to go in the ring. He loves boxing, but I haven't seen too much of him in boxing. Well, he's a well-kept secret. Like, you know, he's 15 and 0 with nine knockouts. But he hasn't had nearly the competition that uh, that Charles uh, Martin has. So he may be, uh, like I said earlier, biting off a little bit more than he can chew. We'll, we'll find out. He's big enough, and he looks the part. Corbin, 38 years of age, in the black trunks with silver trim. He was the 2005 National Golden Gloves champion of the super heavyweight division. His first pro fight seven years ago at the age of 31. He has sparred with Deontay Wilder. And Charles Martin at 25, two and one, he's lost two of his last four bouts. Turned pro at the age of 26, now 32 years of age. The St. Louis native now training in Carson, California. 
Midway through round one, scheduled for 10. And Martin's coming out, he wants to be a boxer, so he's going out there, obviously, throwing his jab and, you know, starting things off with the jab, which is the right move to make, especially in the first round. There's a left from Martin to the body of Corbin. Corbin's taking it all in stride right now. I mean, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's acting as if it's no big deal. He kind of smiled at Martin when he hit him with the left hand earlier in the round. But, you know, let's see what happens when the, the first starts flying. I know. If I was Martin, I would go out there and just really try and touch him with that left hand. There's a right from Corbin. Martin up against the ropes. Well, we've seen little offense so far from Corbin. So I'm curious to see how his punches are delivered and what type of technique he has. Watch that head, Corbin tried to throw a hook there, and Martin landed a little short left hand at the same time. I think Martin's landed. 20 seconds remaining in round Ooh. one. Watch the feet. Watch the feet. Ten seconds. Couple of right jabs by Martin. Corbin comes back with a right. Up on that bell, Warriors. Yeah. Time. Time. Back in Arlington, Gregory Corbin, Charles Martin, as we take a look back at some of the action from round one. Yeah, just as the round ended, Martin threw a nice combination, ended off with a left hook to Corbin's chin. Hopefully that wakes Second up time. Corbin a little bit. I want you to listen to that bell, Charles, okay? All right, here we go. Joe, who had the edge in round one? Well, obviously, the only solid punches landed were by Williams. Um, you know, Corbin was, you know, feeling it out. And um, w w w or, I'm sorry, Martin uh, won the round. And I think Corbin was just feeling his way around the ring here. And uh, at the very end, Martin stole the round just by landing those uh, two great body shots and a straight left hand to the chin. Which was a c good combination, by the way. You know, he's got the right thing. Hit, hit Corbin's body. Don't push him, Charles. Don't push I, I think him. right now, Williams is really going to start going after Corbin. Don't I, I, don't I'm sorry, I keep saying Williams. Martin is going to go after uh, Corbin here because uh, I think he feels that he just doesn't have the skills to compete with him right now. Well, I'm sure his corner, when he went back to the corner, his corner said, let's step it up a little bit more and throw some combinations because he hit him with a good combination at the end of that round. So... Yeah. So, you know, Martin came out a lot more aggressive in, in, in this route here. Like that, right there was a great straight lead left hand. And let me tell you, that hurt Colby. Yeah, it did. Martin, the sixth southpaw to claim a heavyweight title. Corbin needs to do a little bit more. He hasn't, he's not even throwing too much jabs. What he's really trying to do is, is he's telegraphing that left hook. And that's the only punch he's really trying to throw right now. But he should throw something before that. Well, he hasn't been using a jab. He hasn't been going to the body, nothing yet. So you can never go out yeah. there and say, oh, this is my best punch. I want to I want to hit the guy with it. You got to do something to set up that punch. Well, it's a 10 round fight. This is the second round. So let's uh, let's see if it warms up a little bit for Corbin because he needs to do something right now. And if Mark, if, if, if Martin keeps landing punches like that, this is going to be a short fight mistake that Corbin makes he goes to throw a punch and then he stops it's like he, re he 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 decides to and he doesn't decide to oh, oh. big left by Martin Ooh, that was a little bit of a low blow by Corbin yeah, there and Martin, and Martin got him back for it he didn't let that go by and the refs kind of admonishing both of them right now Take a look at the punches landed. 30 by Martin. Corbin only eight. Yeah. Corbin's just not letting his hands go. I mean, he looks stylish like he, he wants to do something, but he's just really playing defense here. And even then, his defense is being uh, penetrated by Martin. So, you know, I, I just think it's going to get worse for Corbin as the fight goes on. Unless he starts throwing some punches. Next. Plus, he needs to listen to that bell. He needs to decide what he wants to do, if he's left-footed or right-footed. Keep him up, Gurgy. Time! 
power. You got to go to work, okay? Wake up. You're in a fight, okay? You got a family out there to take care of. Come on. Get out there and work. Here's a overhand left by Martin. Great punch. This is what he needs to do a lot more of. And in Corbin's corner, he was admonished by his uh, uh, his corner to start fighting because he wasn't. He said he, you, you've lost the first two rounds and you've got to get out there and start using your jab, body shots, and you got to fight. Yeah, he's not he's not really fighting. He needs to throw some combinations now to be in this fight. All right, we heard from Corbin's trainer Jesse Robinson. He said you give it away two rounds. Yeah. And he, he's right. And that's exactly what we were saying. And he's trying to come out right now and do something. And I think his only chance is to really get rough with uh, Martin right now because on the outside, I think Martin's got the advantage, especially with his uh, long reach and his accuracy with his left hand. Corbin spent seven years in prison on drug conspiracy charges, which is why he did not begin his pro career until age 31. He's now 38, although he told us, my face says I'm 36. <laughs> or 26. Oh, well, I was going to say 36 is not much of a difference. Right, but 26. You still might get an argument out of me there. But uh, look, I mean, he better get moving because it, it may be, you know, tonight may be a, you know, a big loss for him if he doesn't really start doing something because uh, Martin obviously looks like he wants to take Corbin out. And Corbin does not look like he wants to win this fight entirely. Corbin needs to do a little bit more pressure on Martin, put him against the ropes and throw some combinations. Right now he's in the center of the ring and it favors Martin more. Than oh, him. oh, big race by Martin. That hurt him. He's got him really hurt right now. He staggered Corbin. Corbin needs to put up his hands a little bit more. He's a little bit too lax. Here in the third, Corbin has Stop. not landed a punch. Oh. 0 for 18. Martin has landed 34 percent. All right, Greg. Here we go. Let's go. Let's box. I think it's going to be going up to 40 pretty soon. Uh, yeah, he he really hurt Corbin with that left hand. A couple more like that. He's touching him there with it. Look, well, at least Corbin's coming back. He even he turned southpaw, tried to throw a couple of right hooks himself. Lennox, do you think that uh, Martin is smothering himself a little bit too much right there when he, you know, when he gets Corbin on the ropes? Don't you think he should give himself a little bit more room? Yeah, he should do. He should do. What he should do is just take a little step backwards, give himself a little bit more room, realizing that he, you know, he needs to throw it from distance. Doesn't need to mix it up with him. shoot, take a step back, go. Well, especially since Corbin seems to grab onto him. You know. That will do it for round three here in Arlington following this big left by the former champ, Charles Martin. Right? Another thing is try not to crowd yourself. Okay. Give yourself room to go to the body, okay? So he doesn't hold you. Go ahead. Watch that. Round four scheduled for 10 from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Let Texas. Let him go, Charles. Let him go. Let Charles him go. Martin, the former IBF heavyweight champ, and the unbeaten Gregory Corbin. Martin, come on. With the advantage over the first three rounds as we welcome in our unofficial scorer, Marcos go, Viegas. Yeah, can you oh. Three rounds to zero oh, for okay. go, Charles Martin. Go. I'm really surprised with the activity level let's of Corbin. Go. You gotta throw punches to win a fight, and he's not throwing any punches whatsoever. All the best and harder, which damaging shots have been coming from Charles Martin, which is why he's up 3 0 so far on my card. All right, thanks, Marcos. Right. 170 total punches thrown by Martin, only 88 thrown by Gregory Corbett. Martin has said, quote, I'm the heavyweight middleweight. My punch count and movement more like a middleweight, but with knockout power. 
And I think if Brady. Corbin wasn't holding as much as he does when, when uh, Martin gets close to him, Martin would be throwing even more punches on the inside because he doesn't mind fighting on the inside. Corbin needs to throw some punches. He definitely needs to throw some jabs, and he's not Watch doing that. Well, what he's trying to do is getting rough on the inside right now. And he's, he's doing a fairly good job of it, but he's hitting low. And he was just warned by the referee about Brady. a minute Brady. ago. Uh, and he's continually Die. going low with that right Over uppercut. There. So, and you know, the referee hasn't really warned him. He's going to take a point, point now. Yeah. Low blow. One point, low blow. Yeah. See. One point, low blow. Well, yes, he's been warned. Accidental counts your heads. Call uh, the low blue. Blows. Here we go. Although Time suddenly in. the referee Box. didn't make a big issue out of him, but he told him to keep his punches up twice. So this was a well deserved uh, point taking. And it looked actually a little intentional, to tell you the truth. So a point taken away from. Corbin for the low blow here in the fourth round. Martin's cut over that left eye. I don't know how if it was a gas. Well, they they ran they ran into each other right here in the corner in front of us, and uh, their heads did clash. That certainly wasn't from a punch. I can tell you that. Not that I saw it. They said it may, may have been, but it certainly looked like a head to me. See, there goes another low blow right there. Blood streaming down the left side of Martin's cheek from underneath his eye. Looks like a pretty nasty cut, Kenny, to tell you the truth. Watch the hands. Manny Robles in the corner. Oh, nice right hook by Charles Martin and a good left hand. Great! Manny Robles is going to have his work cut out for him in Charles Martin's corner fixing that eye. He's going to have to use some real strong medicine on there and close that cut. Time winding down. In round Tom, four, Brady, scheduled for ten. Tom. Back in hey, August, this is round five, scheduled for ten in the heavyweight division. Well, here we go. Here's where the heads bang right there. That's the problem with southpaws and right-handers. And there's the, 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 the big on. gash over his uh, left eye, which Manny Robles did a great job in the corner of stopping. Robles and Martin working together for the first time. Martin at 25, 2 and 1, 23 by a knockout. The former IBF heavyweight champion going up against the unbeaten 38 year old Gregory Corbin. Corbin has landed only 16 punches to this point, 67 for Martin. And by the way, at the end of the round, before Corbin walked back to the uh, corner, the referee again warned them for low blows. And believe me, their heads are coming awfully close to banging into each other again. And this is why I said that I, I felt, Lennox, that uh, Martin was getting too close to him on the ropes a couple of rounds earlier. And it was and that Corbin was trying to get rough with him to do exactly this. Hit him low, bang him in the head. You know, maybe possibly cut him. That's exactly what happened. And look at this. Stop. There's a little wrestling match. When going Martin on. throws that left hand, he's coming in with his whole body. He's trying to get a lot of power behind his punch, and he's th it's throwing himself off balance a little bit more. Well, you're right about that. He is. He's, he is. He's looking for the knockout punch with that left hand. So he's bringing it all, all the way. And he's looking for the home run right here. And well, I've got to tell you, <laughs> they're coming close to banging heads again. But this is the problem with right-handers and left-handers. You know, it's, it's it's the near opposite image of each other, and it, it's not as fluid as two right-handers or two left-handers together. And you know, when you get these big guys against the ropes, and these ropes are kind of uh, slack a little bit, they need to be a, li a lot more tighter. Yeah, especially with these big guys. Yeah, I was going to say with 500 pounds uh, leaning on them, I really don't think there's a rope in town that can hold these guys up. But there's Corbin again. You know, he's really reaching around the back and hitting the kidneys, too. So he could be warm for kidney punching. And look at him come in low with the head right there. It's, he's a dangerous guy to fight. Final minute. And round not, five, scheduled for 10 here at Arlington. Corbin has to be careful when he comes in because uh, Martin's throwing that left hand a lot. And he could, he could even run into one. Well, I'll tell you, Corbin turned his head on that left hand and it, and it skimmed behind his head. And you know, it's a dangerous punch to get hit with back there. And he kind of walked away wobbly for a second. Yeah, he's going to get warned again for low punching. Yeah. You know, sometimes you do that and you're looking One for a way out of the fight. Low blow. One point, low blow. Another point taken point, away from Corbin. Charles. Greg, Greg, we need to keep him up. Here we go. 
Let's go. Let's box. I'm almost positive. Kirk Corbin got hurt by that, that skimming punch that went behind his head about, you know, 30 seconds ago. And the referee, Mark Calloway, telling him, Greg, keep them low. Keep, keep them a little higher than you were. Penalized for the low blow. Two points taken Ten away. Ten seconds. One to the fourth, and once Wait. again in the fifth Over round. Shoot. This is round six, scheduled for 10 of the heavyweight division. The former champ, Prince Charles Martin, and the unbeaten Gregory Corbin. Corbin has landed only 17 punches, guys, over the first five rounds. I'd like to know when that happened, but, um, you know, Corbin's on the verge of getting DQ'd, by the way. You know, he's a oh, good left hand, good left hand by uh, He's already had two points. He's already had two points. Lows. Yeah, and, you know, if you get a third strike, that's you're usually out in boxing. You know, they, they, when you get your third point deducted, they usually just do kill you, especially for low blows. These are yeah. normally stop, intentional. Stop. Nice and the way Corbin's delivering, they're intentional, and uh, the ref won't put up with it. Martin just threw a good right hook on Corbin and knocked him right against the ropes. Martin's feeling a lot better now. He's moving around a lot better. He's looking a lot Great. looser. It's, Great. It seems like he's really warmed up to me. Yeah, and you got to give go. credit nice to the corner like because that was a nasty nice cut right over the, his eyebrow into his uh, eyelid. Oh, great left hand. <laughs> yeah. Lauren's doing the right thing right now. This is what you have to do. Move around the ring and box. This is boxing. Throw that jab. And when the opportunity presents itself, throw that left hand. No, you're right, but I, the point I was making right. a, a second ago was that, back, you know, shoot. that was such a nasty cut. That blood was getting into his eye. That would have impeded his vision and made this fight a lot tougher. And the corner did a great job stopping it. We saw another left from Martin connect with Corbin. There's Manny Robles in the corner of Charles Martin. It's the first time they've worked together, by the way, Manny Robles and Charles Martin. So uh, he's uh, he's earning his case tonight. And Stop. Charles Martin is going to probably be very happy that he hired him because he's doing a great job. Cut like that is not easy to stop. Final minute, round Ooh, six. That was another low blow. Yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, that's going to be it. Time. Time. Yeah, he's going to give Martin some time to rest, so it doesn't Check look it like he's going to DQ Corbin right now. But I'm surprised Check because... Uh, well, in a situation Check like that, Corbin, Cor Corbin was probably throwing the punch, and Martin kind of deflected it down. Let's see, Lennox. You What's okay? Happening here? You good? No, that was, a <laughs> that was a straight <laughs> shot. That was a straight shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was a purpose pitch there, blow. so... One point, Look, like I say, sometimes blow. when you want out of the fight, point, it's, a, it's an easy way to get out and, right. and keep your go. dignity in a sense. Time in. Well, I don't Let's think box. you can keep your dignity well. by punching the guy low. No, because what's going to happen is this, is that he feels he might get stopped. And it's a better way of going Stop. out than a flat on your back. back. Take a step back, Greg. Another point was taken away from Corbin. That's three. And he received another warning. It appeared as if Mark Calloway said next one, and that's it. Yeah. I'm surprised he's he's actually letting it let him get away with oh, three of those. Box out. I mean, those. Box see, out. that was an unbelievable right there. Stop. With his left hand, the back. referee was on the other side. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh great left seconds. hand by Mark. Final seconds, round six. Stop. Let's take a listen back to Gregory Corbin at his press conference on Thursday. It's been a long time, long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. And if anybody ever knew my story, man, they know where I'm coming from and why I said that, man. Thank y'all for having me on this call, man. Hey, March 16th. It's going to be 4th of July. Let's get it, man. That's all I got. Thank y'all.
Well, we mentioned a portion of uh, Corbin's story earlier. Fight him, in prison fight him. for seven and a half you years. Fight, don't you? Turned pro fight at the him. age of 31. Okay. Yeah. Now 38, unbeaten, 15 and 0. Charles Martin might be the one seeing on, stars on, if this were the 4th of July. Well, I, I don't know about stars, but he's... Uh, <laughs> we're going to box, all right? If Corbin box, uh, right? keeps headbutting like that, box. he's going to see go. stars. I guess that's what you box. mean there, Kenny. But I, I got to tell you, Corbin's cut now, and uh, Prince Charles Martin has got a cut over the right eye as well as the left eye. So this is really a rough fight for, uh, for Martin in particular. Corbin... Better keep his head up when he's throwing the punch so he can actually see where the punch goes. Watch your feet. I think Martin's really anxious to get Corbin out of there because he's, he, I'm sure he's getting tired of getting hit low, head butted. I mean, this is a rough fight, wouldn't you say, Lucas? Yes, it is. Now, I mean, what would you, if you were in the corner of, of uh, Martin right now, what would you be telling him? Right. I would tell my, my him to do the same thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep the distance. Anytime Corbin makes a move at him, just take a step back and then uh, throw some co some combinations instead of the one punch, two punch. He can he can actually practice his combination. Punching. Try catch him coming in right. with the, some combos. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Corbin, as you can see, has landed only 21 punches. That's three per round. Well, it's not enough to get. Anybody will win for a round. So, you know, I, again, I don't think he expects to win at this point. And I don't really think he believes he can knock out Charles Martin right now. So he's going to be in store for, I think, a few more hard punches. And I, I'll tell you what, Martin's having a hard time really hurting him and staggering for him right now. He's, he's a big, strong guy. Once again to Marcos. Yeah, Kenny, I got it 59-53, all Charles Martin so far at this point, even with the point deductions uh, that Gregory Corgan uh, suffered in the rounds, he has no chance to win this fight other than by knocking Stop. out Charles Martin at punch. this point Lando. due to the points. Lando. Nice and clean, Charles. All right, thanks, Marcos. Final minute of round seven here in Arlington, Texas. The former IBF heavyweight champ, Charles Martin, Stop. held the title for just under three months back in 2016. And Gregory Corbin, at 38 years of age, on, has never out. lost in his professional Hands career up, in 15 bouts. Up, oh, great left hand by right. Martin again. Right. I mean, Corbin's really go. eating those left hands, and he's absorbing them quite well. He's not getting staggered, and doesn't look like he's getting really hurt by him. And, and, and Martin's a good puncher. He's got 23 knockouts and 25 wins. So it's not like he doesn't hit hard. Corbin just takes a great shot. Right. Oh, did you see that? Oh, oh boy. Uh oh. Over there. No, 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 tie. Greg, over there. Give him a little There we go, there we go. We press him. All right, here they go. Again, more rough stuff on the ropes. And you can see Corbin has wrapped Martin's arms up and tied him up. And now he's trying to get free. And we missed the little last part of it. And we're starting right back in the same place we left off. And Martin gave Corbin a little bit of a headbutt towards the end just as a retaliation. I think yeah, it was more frustration. I think, yeah, he's, he's had enough. And, and in the corner, Manny Robles said, look, the guy's running into you straight ahead. He goes, use that jab and let him run into something like a left up like we were talking about earlier. Get some distance and see. He's right here on the inside. He's just going to get tied up and he's going to get, uh, you know. Manny, Manny's actually telling him the right thing to do. Yeah. And they haven't been working together for a long time. This is actually their first fight together. So they're actually working well Stop. together. There we go. This is round eight. There Scheduled we go. for 10 as the referee, Mark Calloway, once again steps in. Disqualification. He's just DQ. That's it. That's it. Over here. Corbin disqualified. And that's the right call, you know, because Corbin knew he'd even try to play it fair Several and square by keeping the punches up above the, the, the belt line, the blue or at least on the belt line. They were all under the belt line, blue wins. which is a low blow. So he knew what he was doing, part of the and, reason, the, and the rep did the right thing. Part of the reason, because he was bent down. He's bending down, and he's trying to throw an uppercut from a bending position. Well, 
wouldn't you make more of an effort if you had three points taken away from you already? Not even if you were bent down, not to hit somebody low again. Absolutely. So he, he didn't make that effort. I think what I said earlier is true. He was looking for a way out, and he found it. And he got DQ'd instead of KO'd. AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Time for the decision. We head to the ring. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 53 seconds in round number eight. Our referee in charge, Mark Kalaoi, stops the contest due to repeated low blows. He is the winner by way of disqualification, Prince Charles Martin. So Charles Martin goes to 26-2-1. Gregory Corbin loses as a pro for the first time in his career. And here we're going to see some action. Martin throwing this nice combination. Using that left hand well. Coming with a straight left. That's been very accurate throughout this whole fight. He's been catching disqualification, Corbin. Disqualification, disqualification, blue corner. And after a lot of low blows, the referee stops the competition because of the low blows, and he got disqualified. There's Mr. Martin being checked by the doctor. Everything's A-OK. -okay. And then we got the, the, the punch stats here. Total punches landed 26 over the, that amount of rounds by Corbin is really insignificant. 108 by... Uh, Martin, but uh, you know, it looks about right. That's about what we saw in the ring right there 12% to 29. So, Martin victorious by disqualification.